The doom and gloom around the world, and despite the IMF's lowering of its growth forecasts for global growth, one country is still on fire. Hi guys, my name's Seth Russo, and I'm a documentary filmmaker. I've been given the amazing opportunity to travel to Peru with the prophet and author Johnny Enlow to go back to the place where he saw so many insane miracles happen for God. Not only did he see the miracles transform the hearts of the people there, but the miracles he saw happen transformed the entire economy. I'm gonna let Johnny explain a little bit further what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm Johnny Enlow, and I am just so excited to tell you about uh, a project we are taking on, which is going into Peru, South America. It was a nation I was born in. Uh, my parents were missionaries there. And back in 1999, we were able to go into the region of San Martin into Saposoa. And really, we saw God transform this whole area. And we were able to meet with the mayor, and God gave us instruction. He said there's going to be the discovery of you know, two salt mines, a zinc mine, a silver mine, a touristic waterfalls, touristic thermal springs, a lost city of the Incas, and all those things happened within 18 months. And it really became catalytic in causing the whole region uh, to be transformed in some way or another. There's always the next stage of transformation. But then the mayor took us to the surrounding nine cities, and we saw similar amazing things that God did. And we're just so excited about being able to do a documentary on this because we believe it's just important and necessary for people to understand what can happen when God gets invited into a project, when he gets invited to, to do things that we'd never thought possible, to be the bigger than God, you know, that there's nothing impossible. And uh, it ultimately, uh, the repercussions of what God did in San Martin, this area of Peru, it went nationally and we were able to take it to the capital and speak to hundreds of pastors and say, hey, what God did there, he's now gonna do at a national level. And then we saw it go to a national level where it's even called the Great Peruvian Economic Miracle. I just wanna break this down for a second because the implications are far too strong to ignore. Johnny arrived in Peru in 1999 carrying prophetic words from God. From the moment he delivered those miraculous words, the economy began to exponentially increase. The entire world wrote about it, completely unaware of the events that really took place. And from the year 2005, the extreme poverty rate of Peru at that time was 70%. Not just poverty, but extreme poverty and official government numbers. I have friends in government there now. Uh, for June of 2016, the extreme poverty rate had gone from 70% to 4.1%. Things like the capital Lima going from 50-something percent to 9%. But it was all, you know, the catalyst for it all is what God did in Saposoa, in San Martin, this whole province there. And so we're gonna go back. We're gonna take uh, a few trips uh, this year and next year. And we're gonna, we're gonna get the documentary of it. There's something about being able to, to see it. It's exciting that I'm telling it this way, but when you can see, uh, and we'll have video, we have pictures and video from back then, and to see what has progressed to now. And so we just hope your hearts are touched to wanna uh, partner with us in this and, and being able to uh, tell a story that will, that will provoke, even uh, inspire uh, transformation, reformation thoughts and ideals in many of us so we can see how big a God is and how great a God is to do these things and we, we will find ourselves motivated to see it happen in our own neck of the woods, our own nation, city, wherever it is. And so uh, this is gonna be a wonderful thing and hope you can be a part of this. It would be such an honor for you to partner with us in this movement because we believe that this is the type of story that can transform nations. God moves biggest when we take large leaps of faith. And what we're asking is that you take this leap with us. Even if that leap is just $1 or $5 or just your prayers, it would be such a huge help.